All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about um, NFL Week 18. Um, I recapped two individual games. I recapped uh, Jacksonville, Tennessee, and um, Dallas and Washington, my Cowboys. All the other games, I didn't really want to do like individual recaps on, so I kind of just wanted to, you know, besides the two Saturday games and the two games I recapped today, I'll recap all the other games in this same video. I'll do Miami-Buffalo separate as well uh, tonight. So that's still big for the seeding. But let's get into it. So, first thing I'll talk about is Minis uh, the Detroit Lions uh, beating Minnesota Vikings 30-20 to to officially eliminate the Vikings from playoff contention. And Detroit, um, in its 12-5, and tried to play for seeding, but the Cowboys playing the Commanders. It's like, they're gonna be, not going to be able to move up, so they're just playing to win another game and eliminate a uh, division rival. Nick Mullins was 30-44, 369 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions uh, in this football game. Justin Jefferson was so freaking upset on the sideline in this game. I don't know. I don't know. He's just not that freaking good, man. I mean, maybe you could have him on the bench as a backup quarterback. Just six interceptions. Six interceptions in two games, though, against the Lions. He, he threw, what, nine interceptions this year in, like, fucking three games. Like, dude, that's freaking terrible. What, he threw nine interceptions? Eight interceptions in, like, t three games? Yeah. Ty Chandler, 12 runs, 69 yards. He's looked really good in the games he's played this year. When he's got a an opportunity, Ty Chandler looked pretty good in the games he played. Justin Jefferson was fantastic as usual. 12 receptions, 192 yards. Uh, one touchdown. Had 1,000 yards this year despite missing games. Like, he's special. Like, he, he's just that special, man. I don't know if they're not going to play us, but Justin Jefferson, despite missing games, had a really good season. Jordan Addison had 4 catches, 57 yards, a touchdown, 900, 911 yards, 10 touchdowns in his rookie season. These two are going to be a problem for the future. But Detroit is 12 and 5, just playing for pride. Jared Goff, 23 of 32, 320 yards, two touchdowns. They couldn't really get the running game going, so it's mostly Jared Goff. I thought Jared Goff uh, played a good game, and he's gonna be playing Matthew Stafford in the wild card. So that you couldn't script that any better. Those two going going head to head, you know, in the playoffs. But speak, but. We know that this game, they were great. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown, 7 catches, 144 yards, 1 touchdown. Sam Laporte, 5 catches, 29 yards, 1 touchdown. I think it was a hyper-extended knee. Uh, he suffered a hyper-extended knee and a bone bruise. Uh, he could miss time, but it's not as serious as they thought. But yeah, the Lions with a 30-20 to 20 win at home to end the season, regular season 12-5, and five, and the Vikings are officially eliminated. Um... The New Orleans Saints beat the Atlanta Falcons 48-17. to The Saints at least end the season uh, with a winning record under first-year head coach Dennis Allen. They absolutely fucking killed him in the second half after it was tied 14-14 at halftime. Or 17-17. Uh, New Orleans outscored them like... What did they score outscore them? Seven, like 30 to nothing in the second half. Uh, Dennis Allen... Or, uh, what the fuck is Arthur Smith was... Oh, upset the run up the score. It's like, shut the fuck up. You're probably gonna get freaking, freaking fired. I get frustrated with how much talent they have, but Arthur Smith is just a terrible coach. They had a post-game chat, but the guys wanted uh, to get Jamal Williams a touchdown, so, and they made a collective decision, overriding it to score against them. They say it's gonna eliminate, but the I don't know what really what to think about this game. Um, Desmond Ritter played good in the first half, but the second half, eh. They couldn't get the running game going. 11 runs, 28 yards for Bijan. 5 for 20 for Cordell Patterson. 6 for 24 for Algier. They couldn't really get the fucking running game going. Ritter, 2 touchdowns, 1 reception, 290 yards, 22 of 30. Just, they wa wasted Bijan's talent. Wasted Drake London's talent. Ri ri ridiculed public for questioning Ritter and then benched him. Missed the playoffs despite playing a pathetic division. And the fitting end. Winding about a touchdown. Classic Arthur Smith. What a fitting way to end it. Uh, B. John Robinson had 7 catches, 103 yards, 1 touchdown. What a freaking game for in the receiving yards. Uh, receiving yardage. 1,463 yards. It's their all-time rookie record in yards from scrimmage now. The second half, yeah. Just awful from Atlanta. Both these teams are eliminated, though, but the Saints got the last laugh getting having end of the season with a winning record. That's all we have to say about that one. Uh, the Jets beat the Patriots 17-3. to 
Jade's in the season 7-7-10, seven, seven and 10, getting that 17-3 win. Uh, it was 6-3 on the fourth quarter, but the Jets scored 11 points. Uh, they got a 30-yard, a 33-yard field goal. They got a 50-yard touchdown run from Brees Hall, and then a two-pointer to pretty much make it 17-3. Uh, freaking Brees Hall, dude. He's phenomenal. 37 runs, 178 yards, 4.8 yards per carry, one touchdown, two catches, 12 yards. So he had um, 190 total yards. He had a great season. Three, 994 yards, 4.5 a carry, and five touchdowns in his second year, coming back from the ACL. All right. He played really good. Especially towards the end of the season. And delivered the final blow, and they might have ended the, his season. He should be in the running for play, comeback player of the year. If we're being honest, 1,600 yards like in, to, to, in a total scrimmage yards, I think. In a horrible situation off an ACL tear, like, that's good. So, great game from uh, Brees Hall. Um, Trevor Simmons, they had 27 yards. They didn't really run the, pass the ball a lot because it was in a fucking snowstorm. The Patriots, uh, 12 of 30 for Bailey Zappi. 88 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Fucking trash ass Bailey Zappi. Um, Ezekiel Elliott, 13 runs, 54 yards, 4.2 yards per carry. Um, receiving Jalen Rager, one catch, 33 yards. Zeke Elliott, five catches, 27 yards. Mario Douglas, two catches, 13 yards. Yeah, this Patriots the offense was fucking horrible to watch all season. Their defense did all they could, but the fourth quarter, man, it's, it's kind of sad Bill Belichick might get out like this, losing to um, a Trevor Simeon led Jets team. It's kind of sad. Um. The Buccaneers beat the Panthers 9-0 to clinch the NFC South, uh, nine to nothing. Baker Mayfield didn't play good, 20 32, 137 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they made the playoffs. But I mean, their defense played well, but it's not really nothing to brag about because their Panthers' offense is literally dog shit. Rashad Rashad White nine run, 19 runs, 75 yards. Uh, had a um, Chase Edmonds four runs, 27 yards. So they ran the football pretty well. Uh, 113 total. Panthers ran it well as, as well. Chris Gowen t- six catches, 51 yards. It was really the defense that dominated. Uh, they sacked um, Chase Young, or Chase Young, Bryce Young. T- I think only two times, three times actually. But their defense was great. Both defenses I thought were great. It's just the Buccaneers six of 16. On um, third down, and the two fumbles uh, helped the de- the defense force in those two fumbles. Bryce Young, uh, 11 of 18, 94 yards. Just a miserable rookie season with that mid-ass team. Mid-ass receivers, trash O-line. Chuba Hubbard, 23 runs, 83 yards. Miles Sanders, 3 runs, 18 yards. What a waste of a signing that was for uh, Carolina with Miles Sanders. What a waste of a freaking signing that was. Well, yeah, the Buccaneers win their division with a 9-0 to zero win over uh, Carolina. Uh, the Bengals beat the Browns 31-10. At least the Bengals can say they end the season with a winning record. Jake Browning threw three touchdowns, and Joe Mixon had a good game. So, yeah, they end the season good. P- Pierre Strong Jr. looked good for the Browns, 14 runs, 65 yards. Uh, David Bale, I'll say, looked good as well. So, those were some positives. Uh, for Cleveland. Pretty much not playing their starters. Um, the Packers beat the Bears 17-9. The Packers continue on the Bears. A great performance for Jordan Love uh, in this game. So they'll be playing my Dallas Cowboys uh, next week. Raiders beat the Broncos 27-14. Not really much to say there. Because that was two, fucking two teams. Ain't fucking, those two teams already been eliminated. Um, the Giants, freaking Giants beat the Eagles 27-10, freaking dominated. Man, the Giants, the Eagles might freaking get eliminated in the wild card against Tampa Bay. I'm being serious. I think Tampa Bay can upset them. I don't know if he'd be considering an upset, really, because they're the higher seed. And they, I guess they have more momentum. Uh, the Rams beat the 49ers. Both teams playing their, their backups. Well, besides the Rams, they played Cooper Cup. Uh, no, they didn't play Cooper Cup. They played fucking uh, Puka Nakua. He broke the record. Four catches, 41 yards, and a touchdown. Carson Wentz played solid. But yeah, it was mostly the backups, and the Rams forced to turn over to end it. So they'll be playing Detroit uh, next week. Should be interesting. Uh, Seahawks beat the Cardinals 21-20 on a missed field goal by the Cardinals there at the end, and the Chiefs beat the Chargers uh, 13-12 there to finish the year 11-6. So 
So yeah, that's all the NFL uh, Week 18 games. I didn't individually recap covered all in this video. Um, the reason, I mean, the Bills Dolphins games on. I'll, I'll do that individual recap tonight when that game goes final. But yeah, it's really all to say here. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.